everybody. Welcome back to Talk with Naya. So DJ Academics is in some hot water. He was going off on Erica Badu after apparently she said he looked like the mouse from Tom and Jerry. Listen to this. Tell it all y'all the real about it. I see that bitch follow me. I'm like, bitch, why is you following me? I don't fuck with you. I'm not in on no joke with you. You and your little Twitter following or whatever the fuck you got. Bitch, you came up in here raving around Sage and all that type of shit. Fuck y'all niggas. Y'all niggas gonna have to show me now. I'm sorry. I've gotten to the point. Y'all got to show me. Y'all got to show me. Ack is at the point. You got to show me. You got to show me. If you don't show me, I'm, I'm gonna disrespect y'all. You got to show me. You have to show. I promise you, you have to show me. I'm at the point. You have to show me. Bitch came in here waving on top of wands and shit. I'm trying to be nice to you. Now I realize, oh, you was trying to play me like I'm some clown. Bitch, fuck you, nigga. How many, how many rappers done ran through you, nigga? None of you. Stop playing, nigga. How many young rappers you, you chase, nigga, trying to fuck them too? Stop playing, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? I'm not playing with none of y'all. That bitch can't mention me straight up. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling all y'all. You, you know who you look like? You look like Jerry. The mouse from Tom and Jerry. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> no. That's not right. I thought that was going. Now, one thing I do notice is that he does seem to get in a lot of drama with women, and he goes off a lot on women. But he also got called out for the whole Tory Lanez court case drama, sharing information about the case regarding, you know, the whole Megan Thee Stallion shooting. Listen to this. Get arrested. Arrested for what? I'm not in the case. I'm a citizen, my nigga. Here's the facts. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Because I have an audience, that's your problem. I don't give a fuck. So now, and, and, and listen, I'm up in the ante because I think people really think that niggas like me is bitches. Bring the lawsuit or, I, or I'm going to tell y'all to suck dick every day. Y'all got to bring a lawsuit. And I'm telling you, I got a half a million just statue. Suck dick, all y'all. Meg, Megan Cuniff. Meg the Stallion, all y'all. I don't got to tell you who the fuck gave me that information. If it was a serious enough, in, if it was a serious enough um, problem, that fucking judge would have fucking tried to subpoena me. I'm not in fucking California. Any of y'all commenters in neighborhood talk to? First of all, y'all all broke. It's crazy. Some of these hoes was like, yo, oh, act don't got... Bitch, stop fucking playing. I got more than your favorite rapper, unless it's Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Can't wait till act get arrested. Arrested for what? I'm not in the case. I'm a citizen, my nigga. Here's the facts. I can say whatever the fuck I want. Because I have an audience, that's not a problem. I don't give a fuck. So now the judge found that Lanes leaked it to academics. I'm like, well, Lanes' own lawyer said that. I mean, they they describe that, that that's how it happened in the the document. So if and, and look if. It, I, I, I can respect it. He doesn't want to ever reveal who gave him that document. Like, he shouldn't have to do that. But uh, the fact is, I mean, he, the judge found that Lanes leaked it to academics. I'm like, well, Lanes' own lawyer said that. I mean, they, they describe that, that that's how it happened in the, the document. So if, and, and look, if it, I, I, I can respect it. He doesn't want to ever reveal who gave him that document. Like, he shouldn't have to do that. But uh, the fact is, I mean, he, the judge found that Lanes leaked to academics. I'm like, well, Lanes' own lawyer said that. Now, his tweet in 2002 revealed that Tory Lanes DNA was not found on the weapon in the Megan Thee Stallion case. And Megan actually responded to him insinuating that he was on payroll and accused DJ Academics of lying and not posting facts in regards to this news. Now, DJ Academics did have a back and forth with her at that time and told Megan that he didn't give an F when she responded to him and that he did post facts. And apparently now he still doesn't give up, you know? Now, JT also got wrapped up into this because she liked a post where a female said she was deleting Megan's songs off her phone in support of Tory Lanez. So now people ain't looking at JT the same. And then other celebrities like Iggy Azalea and Mario are also getting backlash as news of these two writing letters in support of Tory Lanez gets exposed and put out on social media. So it's getting a little messy. Now let's move on. So Trina got some backlash after she disrespected Haitians at a recent show. Get your motherfucking boo ass bitches out of here. You dusty ass cat in bitch. Get your motherfucking boo ass bitches out of here. You dusty ass cat in bitch. 
Now, Trina, why would you say this when there's a large population of Haitians in the Miami, Florida area, right? Which is also where you're from and have a big fan base. I don't know what happened at this show, but I just don't think that was smart. <laughs> now, let's move on to some positive stuff. Nas and Lil Wayne were inducted into Billboard's Hip Hop Hall of Fame. Congratulations to these two. That's super, super exciting to see. And you guys, we also forgot to talk about Sierra being pregnant with her fourth child with Russell Wilson. So congratulations to them and their beautiful growing family. Now, speaking of Sierra, fans were also speaking about her career. And people feel that Sierra's passion is indeed music. But now, like, since she is creating, like, songs, she's still putting out some songs. People feel that her current music now is just basically being used to market her real revenue stream, which is sponsorships. Listen to this opinion. So Sierra's music career may not be a money laundering scheme, but this explanation does make sense. Releasing music can be viewed as a form of marketing for Sierra, the brand. It keeps her anchored in the world of celebrity, which includes entertainment, music, fashion, whatever else. It gives brands like Dolce & Gabbana a reason to fly her out, to sit front row at their fashion show, to toss her a huge appearance fee because she's Sierra. She's a singer. She's that girl. Just not on the charts. And interestingly, I think Normani and other singers follow a similar model, releasing just enough music to be classified as singers really gets them money is appearance fees, brand deals like this Bose campaign, which literally features an unreleased song. So when these artists have music out there that isn't charting, I don't think it's fair to call them flops because the music is serving, I think, a very specific purpose, which is to get them booked. And as long as it's doing that, they're happy. All right, let me know what y'all think about that. That's all I have for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.